the T in bright minds is for toxins, one of the most common causes of memory loss and aging. When I first started performing spec scans, I noticed a toxic pattern on the brains of substance abusers, from alcoholics, cocaine addicts, and marijuana users. At Amen Clinics, we just published a study on nearly 1,000 pot smokers. Compared to non-users, as a group, pot smokers showed lower blood flow in every area of the brain, especially the hippocampus. This is visual evidence that getting Scarlett and Sam stoned <laughs> or drunk can cause lasting brain damage. The scans taught me another important lesson. Besides drugs and alcohol, there are many other things that are toxic to your brain, such as smoking, even secondhand smoke, mold exposure from water damage, carbon monoxide, cancer chemotherapy and radiation. As they kill cancer cells, they also kill healthy cells and heavy metals, including mercury, aluminum, and lead. Did you know that when the government took lead out of gasoline, they left it in small airplane fuel. We did a study on 100 pilots and found 70% had toxic looking brains. Lead is also found in 60% of lipsticks sold in the United States. Be careful who you kiss, <laughs> or it could be the kiss of death. If you have any of these risk factors, such as chemotherapy or mold exposure, it just means, like having a genetic risk or head trauma, you need to be even more serious about taking care of your brain. Meet Dave Asprey, the founder of Bulletproof Coffee, who said that when he got his spec scan, it changed everything in his life. He was working and getting an MBA from Wharton, but at the time, he was struggling with brain fog and memory. He said, I'd sit down to do a test, and by the third question, felt totally confused. His scan looked terrible, which to Dave was good news. He could see evidence of the problem and do something about it. He went from thinking that he was just lazy or a bad person to someone who had a medical issue. It turned out that Dave had years of toxic mold exposure from water damage in his house. After he underwent treatment, his brain improved, his memory was better, and the brain fog lifted. He said he only had one complaint. He lost muscle tone in his middle finger. <laughs> As his brain improved, so did his temper, and he went on to become incredibly successful. To decrease your toxic risk, limit your exposure whenever you can. Buy organic to decrease pesticides and read labels. If a product lists ingredients such as phthalates, parabens, or aluminum, don't buy it. What goes on your body goes in your body and affects your brain. Plus, support the four organs of detoxification, including your kidneys, so drink more water. Gut, make sure to eat plenty of fiber, skin, Sweat with exercise and take saunas. A recent study showed that people who took the most saunas had the lowest risk of memory problems and support your liver by eating brassicas, which are detoxifying vegetables such as broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and Brussels sprouts. Tana's brassicas taste amazing. One thing you can do today is download one of the many free apps to scan your personal products and see how toxic they are. They'll tell you on a scale of one to 10 how quickly they're killing you. When I first used one, I threw out half the products in my bathroom.